Bubble Busters! Hi, my name is Hillary. My fiancé Jared and I have already filed for our marriage license, and our wedding is tomorrow. We both spent the last few days making sure everything was ready for the wedding. I've been busy making final checks after work. At the same time, Jared edited the entertainment film to play at the wedding. We took a day off work today and have been working on the final confirmation from the morning. Suddenly, my phone rang. It was Yolanda, my wedding planner. Hello, Yolanda. How are you? Hi, Miss Hillary. Do you have a minute? I'm very sorry for interrupting. You must be very busy right now. It's okay. What did you want to talk about? I'm terribly sorry, Miss Hillary, but the dress you selected is no longer available. Could you please come today and pick another dress? What? Wait, what? I can't just pick another one? I can take pictures for you if you don't have time to come. You can decide from the pictures. I said there's no way I can do that now. The dress I selected is inspired by the dress of my favorite character from my favorite movie. The sole reason I entrusted my wedding to your company was that dress. I understand. The wedding's decor was also designed to look like the setting of the movie, right? I need that dress to complete the whole look! There's no way I can change the dress now! We started preparing for this wedding months ago! Yeah, we accidentally double booked that dress, and the other client reserved the dress before you, so we have to give them the dress. I'm very sorry about that. It was pointless talking to you over the phone. Okay, my husband and I will be there soon. Let's talk then, okay? I hung up the phone and told Jared what the wedding planner had told me. Jared was furious. Anger level 100%! We need a better explanation from the wedding planner. So we get in the car to find the wedding planner. I almost cried on the way there because I didn't understand how this could happen to me one day before my wedding. Both, but crying won't help anything. Thank you for coming on such short notice. We're very sorry for the inconvenience. We've already refunded the cost of the dress to your account. Could you explain why you didn't notice the dress was double booked until the last minute? It was just a mistake. I have multiple clients all the time. I can't focus on you alone, can I? Nobody's getting any special treatment. We're not asking for special treatment. Why are you still so fixated on the dress? I've already apologized to you sincerely. Do you want me to give you a full refund, or do you want compensation? I said that's not what I want. Do you want to cancel the wedding then? We can't really do anything if you complain. We're all grown-ups here, so can you be more understanding and let it go? Plus, aren't you too old to say things like, It's the dress of my favorite princess. Just choose from the dresses we have. What's with the attitude? If you don't want to choose a dress, please go home. I'll call the police if you keep causing trouble. Causing trouble? You're the one who's causing trouble! Excuse me, I apologize sincerely, but you wouldn't let it go. Enough is enough! Forget it, Jared. Fine, I'll pick a dress. Finally! That was a wise choice. Please, come this way. I'm about to explode with rage, and I want to strangle her, but I can't cancel the wedding at this point. The guests we invited all took time out of their busy schedules to attend our wedding. I also can't disappoint my family and friends who helped me with the preparation. The wedding will go as planned if I pick another dress. Jared is still furious about the situation, but I've lost my will to fight back. In the end, I decided to go with the dress that resembles the previous one the most. Although the dress isn't ideal, I'll be satisfied as long as we have a successful wedding. I want to think positively, but I can't hold it anymore when I get home. So I messaged my friend Mary about what happened. Mary, I can't believe this! My wedding is tomorrow, but they asked me to pick a different wedding dress. They double booked my wedding dress! Can you believe that? What kind of wedding planning is this? Oh my god, really? What do you do now? I already picked another dress similar to the one I like, but I picked all the accessories and flowers based on the previous dress. You always 
wanted to wear that dress. You went on a diet and grew your hair longer for it. What a shame. <laughs> I guess I wasn't meant to be a princess. And I feel bad for ruining the mood for Jared, too. I know I've never even been in a relationship before, but... I think you can bring your own dress to the venue, right? Yeah, that's right. There are people who made their own dress and wore it at their weddings. The dress you chose can't be the only one in the world, right? I think so. All right, give me a moment. What are you gonna do? I'll look at the details of that dress. Weakness analysis, 100%. An hour later. <laughs> I found it, Hillary. I found the shops that rent out the dress and called all of them. The dress is available for rent at a shop in another city. You can rent it for tomorrow. Really? Typically, they need to shift the dress with insurance. But I explained the situation to them and they said, the bride should wear the dress she wants and agree to let us go and pick it up. Are you serious? But it's in another city. Don't worry, I'll drive there to pick it up for you. I'll pay the rental fee for you. You don't have to worry about anything. You still have other preparations to make, right? You also need to have a good rest before your big day. No, I can't let you do all that. The rental fee is not cheap. I can't let your wedding planner get her way. I don't mind spending some money to see my best friend in her favorite dress. I don't go out a lot, so I have a lot of savings. I want you to look your best on your wedding day, Hillary. That evening, Mary drove for hours and got the dress I wanted for me. I've never cried so much with joy before. I compensated Mary for the dress rental fee and gas. Everything is ready for the wedding tomorrow. The wedding dress has finally come. Yolanda was quite surprised when she saw my wedding dress. I know it's a sudden change, but it's a dress I always dreamt of wearing on my wedding day. They couldn't really complain that I brought my dress at the last minute. Then my wedding started and everything went smoothly. Time to trouble buster. Now, the groom has something to say to everyone. There's some special guests he wants to give thanks to. Miss Mary, Hillary's best friend. Could you please come to the stage? What? Me? Why? I apologize for the surprise. But I have to thank you in front of everyone. What's going on, Hillary? I didn't know about this either. Ladies and gentlemen, something unexpected happened at the final stage of our wedding preparation. We got a call from the wedding planner yesterday. She told us they couldn't give Hillary the wedding dress she reserved months ago, and asked Hillary to pick another dress at the last minute. Hillary was desperate when she heard the news, but she stayed strong and picked a different dress. She was going to settle with another dress, similar to the one she wanted. But Mary was different. Mary searched everywhere for the dress Hillary wanted. She even drove to another city to get the dress for Hillary. Thank you, Mary, for what you did for Hillary. For what you did for this wedding. Ah, uh, this is so embarrassing. But why am I happy? Let's hang out a lot even after you guys are married. Many guests were moved by the story. Jared's speech was met with cheers and applause and brought a lovely ending to our wedding reception. I cried so hard at the end. It was the perfect wedding I always wanted, but there was one more surprise after. Apparently, Yolanda hid the double booking incident from her boss. But her boss learned about it through Jared's speech and got furious with her. Yolanda and her boss came to our house the day after to apologize. Our wedding planning fees were also partially refunded to us. Yolanda's boss said she'll move to another firm to prevent such a mistake from happening again. 
Yulana looked tired and haggard, and her eyes were swollen. She must have been scolded by her boss. I almost laughed a little when I saw her face. She didn't feel bad about almost ruining the happiest day of my life. I think she needs to really reflect on her mistakes. What Jared and I wanted was a sincere apology from Yolanda and her boss. After hearing their apologies, we were ready to forgive them. I hope no other brides will have to go through what I did in the future. Trouble Busters! <laughs>